Hi everybody, it's Ivani here again. How are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, I'd like to show you today um, what I figured out, how to use up some of my scrap. Have you ever had some scrap paper you didn't know, or design your paper scrap that you didn't know what to do with? Well, I thought I'd do some kind of webbing of sorts. So I took out a piece of cardstock that I had and I cut out a piece. I'm going to I am going to cut out a piece. I've never done it before, so I'm kind of learning it along. Five and a half by four and a quarter, which is the standard size of a card, like so. And then, so I have this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut it down to every half inch of... Um, okay, how am I going to do this? I'm going to do this like this. I'm going to cut strips every half inch. Every half inch. We're going to try that. Half inch. Half inch. Like I said, this is going to be something that we are going to do together because I just got this idea on my top of my head. Probably coming from something I've seen along the way and forgot about it, but I know I've done some webbing before. Now I don't know if my stripes were a half inch, but may not all match up here either because of uh, this is four and a quarter. Well, let's give it a shot. Half inch, half inch, half inch. I'm using this little mini cutter from Stampin' Up. I just received this actually not too long ago. It's really kind of cute. It's great for card making, super great for card making. It goes, uh, might as well tell you, it, it has centimeters and inches, so which is nice sometimes when you measure. And um, it has a, um, goes up to four, four and a quarter inch, so which is the size of a card. All right, let me see. I've got to get myself a card base here, and I think I will take from cake, I believe this is color. I'm not even sure. But anyway... Um, I'm going to do some like this and some like this. Therefore, I'm going to do, 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 I'm going to have it for just a little length here. Let me see what I can find to make my life easier. I'm going to take some two-way tape here and I'm just going to cut a piece out and lay it here. How long do I want it? I want it probably, let's eyeball this, not eyeball this. Let me see. I'm going to go four inches maybe. Two inches would make four stripes. So I'm going to go from there to here. So let's just say about there, like that. And I'm going to snip that end off. And then... Hmm, what am I going to do after? I'm going to do the same thing on this end. I'm going to go two inches over there. So two inches over here will bring me here. And I'm just going to take my pencil here and make a little notch. It'll be easier. And I'm going to cut myself another piece for two inches. So let's go here, right straight through to here. And I'm going to slip that off. It doesn't really matter for the for the tape because you're, you're not going to see it anyway. I'm just going to take my little pick here and take the top piece of the paper off and leave the adhesive on, uh, on the card. Like this. And again like this. There you go. We have it. And then from there, let's try this. Let's do this. We're going to put And then I'm going to put one strip down. No? Does that make any sense to you guys what I'm trying to do here? I'm going to do a half inch down. Like that. And another half inch approximately here. Like that. Make sense? Don't know if it makes sense, but it's going to then I will be taking this. Okay, now I got it. 
I'm going to add it down. So, where's my good old tape gun? Good old tape gun. Let me see. I'm going to strip it down. And as I said, we're doing this together. So, I'm going to stick it down here. And then I want a piece to go on top there, like that. I'm going to add some adhesive on this piece too. Now, thumbs up only, okay? Thumbs down is because I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm learning as I'm going along. So I want, we're going to learn this together. So I'm going to add the other one on top. Like this. And then, oop, I don't want it to go all the way down, just like that. And I'm going to do the same piece with this. And I'm going to add this one underneath. Underneath. And I'm going to snug. Can you see what I'm doing here? One under, one over, one under, one over. Like that. This is perfect. I'll take this one off since I'm learning as I'm going along here. And I'm going to add something. This is how I yeah, create. You know, uh, some of us just have to take an idea and go for it. And sometimes we give ourselves twice the amount of work, but we're always satisfied in the end, I suppose. But there you go. I want this out. So I have four stripes. Should I go five? Hmm, should I go five? I'm not sure if I want to go five. I think I'm going to start with the top and I'm going to finish with the top. So, yes, I am. So, I'm going to put some adhesive here and I think I'll have to cut out more stripes. And I'll tell you the amount of stripes when strips when we get to the end because, because uh, I don't even know how much strips it's going to take. I'm just creating on the fly here. I just wanted to make sure that they're snug, kind of snug together here. That. Okay, so this is as far as I want it, right here. So at this point, I'm going to cut off this piece, like that. And now it's all about interweaving. So I'm going to pull this stripe up, like this. And I'm going to add this guy underneath. Straight, straight underneath like this and then over and then I'm going to that's why it's it's kind of important for you not to push down on these strips because you're going to end up having paper like this on you're going to rip a bit of paper which is okay on this card because I'm it's all going to work out you'll see at the end so this is it and I'm going to add this one underneath here like that but they have to, it has to be, I don't want to see no heart stuck underneath, like so. That is good. That's what I was looking for. So now I'm going to do, there's one. And I'm going to do it again. But this time I'm going to start on top and snug, on, snug against the next one on top. Pull this out. Under. Over, under, over, under is what we're looking for. So, over, under, over, and under. Now, let me finish this off and come back to you when I'm all done. So, this video won't be too, too long. And you can see what I'm doing here. Now, I'm going to cut this piece off, just like I showed you on the other piece. I'm just going to cut out like that. It's perfect. And then I'm going to go underneath, over, underneath, and over. So let me do this, finish off, and I'm going to come back with and show you what I do for the next step. I'll be right back, guys. All right, I'm back, and I'm finished my card, and this is how it looks. Uh, I think it turned out pretty darn good for something I didn't know what I was going to end up with. So as you can tell, what we've started with is the webbing. That was the whole idea. And, and through the webbing, I just used, this is all 
from leftover cardstock or or bits and pieces from other projects. So this card in actuality was not hard to make and it's using up your leftovers. So I took a piece of cardstock, cut them out and um, quarter inch or half inch strips and I just interweave them as you remember this part here before I said I was going to finish it off. From them I took from then I took some chocolate chip cardstock pieces that I had left. I'm a, uh, from Stampin' Up. I really enjoy the Stampin' Up product, so I have quite a bit of it. And I added two strips there from a, a small piece that I had left over. And then I took out this um, Hello Honey cardstock, and then I took out the ink pad to match. And I kind of edged out the size. I think it's the same cardstock. I'm not 100 100% sure because it's a bit. It's just a leftover piece. And I made a hole with a little uh, hole maker here that I purchased uh, that I've had for a long, long time. I, I think it's a dollar store now, to be truthful. And I put a brad. I just chose a brad out of my brad selections here, and I added it to the top. I took my punch. I had a flower punch. You could take any punch you want. This is Stampin' Up! It's an old punch. I don't, I'm not sure if they still have it. But, and I punched out three pieces from this yellow. And, and then I just put them together to make a little flower here. Then from the dollar store, I had purchased this vine trim. So one has a rope and the other one has it, a jute rope, and one has it. So I just cut up a few pieces, made some vines, took one piece with the rope, added to the bottom, and, um, you know, and it just added a piece on top here. I took my punch. I had a two-inch punch, a no two-inch punch like this with the scallop, a circle, and I had a one and three-quarter scallop punch, but anything you have will do. The circle, brown, oval, it really doesn't matter. The whole idea is to use up what you have. And then I just used, uh, with the chocolate chip ink, I used, uh, this is one of the recent ones that I purchased from Stampin' Up! It's called um, Many Mates Clean Stamp Set, and I used Just Thinking of You, which is, uh, I have some glare here, but anyway, just thinking of you over here. And with a stamping block, I put that on, stamped it there, and it made me a card. Now inside, I'm going to put a piece of cardstock for the uh, for writing your whatever you want to write inside the card. It made a really pretty card. It could actually, if you took the flower off, it could actually be, uh, you could put a moose, a deer, uh, a, you know, something more masculine, a car, a boat in here instead of a flower, you would end up with more of a masculine card. But the way it turned out here, I liked it. It turned out pretty pretty cute. So that's on a whim. So this is what I have to share with you guys today. Take out your pieces and bits and pieces of cardstock and play with it. You can you never know what you're going to do. It may look a little crooked there on the on the camera, but it really isn't. It is straight. And um, fun. That's the whole idea of crafting. You never know what you're going to do. And I mean, if they're bits and pieces, you're going to use them up somehow or else throw them out. Might as well use them up. And if it don't turn out, well, at least you've tried. That's how your imagination grows. You start one little thing, it snowballs into a bigger snowball, to a bigger snowball. Next thing you know, you have a project done up. This is Yvonne, and I'm going to let you go right now saying goodbye, happy thoughts, and be happy. That's what matters. We'll catch you soon on another video. Ciao.